Okay, so last night I came back home late and craving some sushi. All the spots on Uber Eats were closed, so I went to bed hungry without any food. The next day I was on YouTube and saw my boy Arak selling his own pizzas on Uber Eats, so I got this crazy idea. Let's open our own sushi store and sell sushis on Uber Eats just from my house. Yes, you heard it right. We are about to open our own sushi store on Uber Eats just from here from my house in Ottawa, Canada and sell sushi to people on Uber Eats. There's a bunch of steps we have to follow. First of all, we have to sign up on Uber Eats. Second of all, we have to find an attractive name for our sushi store. Third of all, we have to order some stickers to slap it on the package and then we have to know how to make sushi. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting because you know, your boy can't cook sushi but I'm smart and I got a great idea to how we're gonna make that sushi to sell it to people. But for now, step number one is sign up for all right as you guys can see it says uber Eats for rest partner with us a restaurant name okay restaurant name here's the deal i'm gonna google some sushi restaurant names and try to play with the name to find a creative name comment down below what would you name your sushi store if you own one but for now i have to browse the internet and find something creative so i googled some sushi store's name to get some ideas and nothing really popped up then after searching how naming a sushi restaurant i found some not bad not bad names what really clicked in my head since i'm dr hobbs what is doctor in japanese because sushi is from japan it means ishi um, uh, yeah, the problem is there's already an Ishi Sushi. It exists right here in Montreal. There's a bunch of that Ishi Sushi. So we need to come up with a different name. After a lot of thinking, it's actually been a while that I've been thinking of a name, checking online if anything has been taken. And I thought of a very original one, a very classic, appealing name if you want to order some sushi. Our restaurant is going to be called, are you ready for it? Sushi Baby. Yep, that's a very exciting name. Sushi Baby is about to be born right now. Yeah, no pun intended. Making it right now. I'm super excited about this guy, so please make sure to smash the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. It's road to 300k and it's road to selling Sushi Baby. Let Sushi Baby. Submit your menu. Okay, here we go. Now for the menu part, um, <laughs> didn't know it's gonna be taking me that long, but it's literally been around two hours me creating a logo, creating a menu. I had to create the whole menu, but what I did is I went on Google and literally searched basic sushi menu and slapped it on Photoshop, put it on the menu, and we have the menu for Sushi Baby with a beautiful logo that I'm gonna submit to Uber Eats right now, and done. So what's gonna happen is right now, Uber Eats gonna get back to me in about three to four days, and this is when we'll be back and start selling our sushi, but the breaking point is I didn't tell you guys how I'm gonna make the sushi and the secret is I'm gonna go to bento they sell sushi really quick buy a bunch of sushi have a big inventory of sushi this whole thing is just an experiment I'm not actually gonna be trying to sell these sushi but all you have to do now is to wait for uber eats to get us approved and go to bento buy a bunch of sushi so I'll catch you guys back in about four or five days One. I was just checking the footage that I had and I lied when I said four to five days. It's been two months. It's been 63 days on the dot. Uber Eats just responded to me. They just called me and we had a bunch of conversation, me and them. I filled up a whole questionnaire, answered so many questions. And now it's time for me to receive a package. It's gonna be like a small iPad. And this is the Uber Eats tablet where I could get all the sushi orders through that. Today is Friday and we finalized all the forms. So it's probably supposed to come here on Monday. I'm gonna wait till Monday and hopefully we can start selling some sushi. Today is finally the day. It's two Tuesday, I thought it was gonna come on Monday. I just woke up, I heard the door knock. Let me show you what we have. We got this, the Uber Eats package. I'm gonna open this package. Ooh, okay, so, but the paper works. Let's not show this. The most important part is this. What's going on? Please, oh, put our username, our password for this Uber Eats restaurant bag. All the orders are gonna come through this. I'm gonna put this on the side. They give me all the details on this paper. Thank you so much for this. Now, baby sushi is about to be born and in action. All I have to do is go and get a bunch of sushi packs because I don't know how to make sushi and we don't have any sushi. I have to go buy a bunch of bento. The one that I always at the store at the fridge. I'm gonna buy about like 50 of them. I don't know how many orders I'm gonna get. And they've been telling me that they're gonna put the baby sushi restaurant on the front page of Uber Eats for two weeks. That's why me and this representative from there been talking on the phone for the past week. I've been a little stressed, but it's time to get baby sushi in action. Let's go. Of course, I went to my local supermarket called Metro. Sorry, picking the sushi rolls that I have on the baby sushi menu. We had a bunch of salmon rolls, California rolls, cucumber rolls, and a lot more. I ended up getting about 14 cases of sushi, stacked them at home, and now it's time to get to work. It's time to officially open our restaurant, baby sushi, bring it to life, and start getting customers. Do we need employees to run the sushi spot? It's just me right now, because I need someone to cross out bento sushi and put a sticker that says baby sushi on top of those. I probably can do all that by myself. Time to make it official and open it on the Uber Eats tablet. I'm doing it right now. Putting the password for our restaurant and 
We are on. We are good to go. It says open for delivery. Tushi Baby has finally opened its doors to customers. So um, what do I do right now? Just stare at the Uber Eats tablet till I get an order? Um, yeah, now we need to get customers to buy our stuff. I started reading all the pages that Uber Eats sent me and it says they're gonna promote baby sushi for two weeks because everyone's ordering food at home right now. Since all the restaurants are closed, baby sushi is about to be on the front page of Uber Eats for two weeks. I'm so excited about that and I need to go write some reviews about baby sushi. Let's go and do that. I'm gonna try and see if I can find it on my phone as a customer. Let's say I wanna buy baby sushi. Let's see if it's popping on Uber Eats right now. Sushi baby. Huh? Oh my god! Look at this! Sushi baby on top! The first one right here! Take a screenshot and put it on the screen because I'm so proud! This is my restaurant! I don't know how they got this picture or where they got this picture from because I did not send them this one But it looks so wavy! The black with the sushi and everything! Oh my god! It has... Zero reviews. Zero reviews. I'm gonna write some reviews about my restaurant, bump it more because if there's some reviews, people will be more willing to buy from a spot that has more reviews than a spot that has zero reviews. Meanwhile, I'm writing some of the reviews. This is how it looks from the front page. When you click on Baby Sushi, this is what you see. I blurred the address, obviously, because it's my house. Picks for you the California roll. I'm aged, you know, that's my favorite roll, but I'm so happy that this is happening. I need our first order, and as soon as I have our first order, the tablet over there is gonna ring, and then we have to prepare the best sushi in the world. After writing a bunch of reviews, it was time to put the sushi baby signs out. Whenever an Uber driving is pulling up to take the order, he will for sure know that baby sushi is a legit restaurant made from love and the paper that says sushi baby on it in black and white because my printer ran out of color ink. So I stick the sushi baby sign everywhere around my house. Since my printer isn't printing, I decided to write every single sticker and stick them onto the box. So I had to write sushi baby, cut it, and then stick it on top of every single sushi box that we have. And to be honest, I'm very proud of my sushi baby restaurant. It's about to be booming. Why did I write Susie baby, I forgot the age. Time to wait for someone to make their first order. Meanwhile, I was researching how to make sushi at home in case sushi baby took off and I actually want to start doing it as a real business. Something magical happened. We got our first order. Let's go, our first order of the day. Oh my God, all right. We finally got our first order. It's been two hours and a half and we finally got our first order, probably because of all the reviews I've been writing. And the guy name is Chris, the order is um, right here, as you guys can see. We have 18 minutes until this guy shows up, until the Uber guy picks up the order. I need one minute to pack it up, because everything is right here. Here, the sushi, baby sushi, um, written by, you know, the one and only. I should probably put this in a bag, and then wait till our Uber show up. It's gonna show up from over there. I'm super excited, sushi baby is officially on with our first customer. Let's see how many customers we're gonna get. I can't wait to meet our first Uber driver. Hopefully he's not gonna think it's weird because he's coming to a house not a restaurant. It is what it is. People are gonna love the sushi baby and the first guy ordered the cucumber roll, which thank God I have. If they order anything else that I don't have, I have to run to the store, buy it, and then come back here, put the sticker on it, and then give it to the Uber guy. Cucumber roll getting in the bag. The sushi guy is right here. Oh my God. Very confused. He has no idea, but I blurred his face. Okay, oh my God, he's right here. That's the order for Chris. What's the camera for? Oh, nothing, sir. And then the order started flooding in. Business was booming at the sushi baby kitchen. A bunch of Uber drivers were very spectacle about my camera, so I had to put the food outside the door and then run in. In the last hour, I had about three orders. I couldn't eat in peace or edit in peace. I got excited every time I got an order. I started a little chain. I had a sushi box inside the bag. Those are back to earth. It's like a recyclable bag we use over here because Sushi Baby promotes a clean planet. And then after a little while, I couldn't keep count of the orders coming in. I had to take a nap, but then my brother woke me up on a new Uber request, not knowing what's going on. Starting getting the order ready. Told everything we had. I had to run to the store quick buy more sushi Here we go, sir. Is this a real restaurant? Yeah, we're called Sushi Baby. It's actually, uh, um, we just opened like not too long ago. It's the first time I see it on Uber Eats. Yeah, we just like, I took a break and now we're back. You know, business just started to boom. But anyways, that's for um, Andre. Right? Yes. So yes, Uber Jam is starting down in the restaurant and I couldn't even play with my dog Blaze because I saw I got a new order. Order after order after order, I bought eight boxes of sushi. I'm my friend David Brady showed up because he loves sushi and he knew what I was doing. I was literally asleep right now, as you guys can see. I think I need to shut down the store. I think it's time to shut down baby sushi. We experienced everything and I put the final sushi in the bag. It's right in here and the Uber is outside. Literally right there. That's for Kevin? Yeah. Thank you. 
And that was my last sushi that I have for tonight. I think it's time to shut down sushi, baby. It's been a great one. It's been a great, great time. And every time someone orders a sushi, I refund it fully. I never took one penny from anyone. Every single person that ordered my food, I reimbursed them and gave them back all the money as a coupon because we just opened. So I didn't charge anybody. And right now, it's super late at night. I'm still getting orders. As you guys can hear right now, I just got another one that I don't have any sushi for. Oh my god, I should probably cancel it or run to the store and buy other sushi. Actually, the stores are closed. It's very late right now. If you watch this video till the end, guys, you don't understand how long this took me to make. It's by far the longest video I've ever made on my channel. It took me literally two months to make this whole thing from start to end. It took me two months for this one video. Please smash the like button right now and subscribe to my channel because it's been a long journey. Building up baby sushi and closing it right now. I'm about to go on Uber Eats and shut down sushi baby. Let me know if you want me to do anything else on Uber Eats or maybe DoorDash or any of these apps. Let me know what you want me to see doing next. Like a long video like that but right now it's time for me to go to bed, sleep like a baby. No sushi, no pun intended. And guys, I love you. It's been a real one, baby sushi. I could have made a lot of money to make that. Maybe I should open an actual restaurant, something I can cook, like hummus <laughs> or hot sauce. But I love you guys, and as always, turn your haters to motivators. I am up for now. I am so set to shut down baby sushi. It is what it is. It's time to do it and go to bed. A peace.